This is a Google Tag container created with Pixel Your Site import export file. I'm in this file right here. This one. I have another video on our channel showing you how you can download this file and how you can upload it into your GTM container. But now I want to explain exactly what this file does. I'm Christian Stoichesko from Pixel Your Site. And starting version 11 for Pixel Your Site Professional and version 10 for Pixel Your Site 3, the free plugin we have on WordPress. Uh, we now, starting these two versions, we now have support for Google Tag Manager. It means that we track all our data, all our events, all our parameters, and we send them into a Google data layer. And with the help of this file, you can configure such a container that has variables tracking our parameters, uh, triggers, uh, firing tags, for all our events. And in version 1.0, the one available when I record this video, uh, we have also Google Analytics tags already configured. Uh, so I want to explain you exactly what this contain container does. First of all, the triggers. We have four triggers, each of them using um, this trigger type type contains and value manual for our um, manually configured events. So events you can configure here inside the plugin. If you have such events and if um, the event is enabled for Google Tag Manager like this. So here is the trigger for the event an event that you can configure, I don't know, or various triggers that we have. For example, this is a page visit, but it can be uh, Elementor form submit, and you can have such an event. If you enable this event for Google Tag Manager, this trigger, trigger will capture the event. This one is for WooCommerce events. So all the events we fire for WooCommerce or for easy digital downloads because we have integrations with WooCommerce and easy digital downloads. So I'm talking about all these events, product pages, out to cart, checkout pages, purchases, category pages, um, card pages, and uh, list performance for Google Analytics and um, list performance for Google Tag Data Layer. All these events, if they are enabled for Google Tag, uh, data, for GTM data layer. They will have a trigger type type contains e-commerce. So this uh, value right here, and this trigger will capture them. Now we have a similar trigger for automatic events, automatic events contains automatic. Uh, I'm referring to all the events we fire automatically for various actions like uh, video views, scroll, comments, login, signups. You can see them here. This one, for example, tracks uh, telephone links. Uh, this one, outbound. No, this one is uh, internal links. Telephone links is uh, this one. If it's enabled for the GTM data layer, it will be present in the data layer, it will have that value that will um, help the trigger to detect the event. And uh, then you can use this trigger to fire a tag. So that's how it works. And now the last one or the first one started, of course, from the bottom instead of from the top. Sorry about that. This one, uh, advanced marketing events, it's a group of events we fire for WooCommerce. You can see them here. This various conditions, for example, you can have this one, the number of transactions and you will have an event. Uh, this one, VIP client, um, at least two transaction and order is at least 
is value so valuable clients uh, big will lifetime value bigger than particular value first time buyer it's obvious returning customer it's obvious and if uh, send to the data layer it's on this um, trigger will capture that particular event so these are the triggers you can use these triggers for any tag that you want uh, we we configure the container and you can then use uh, the trigger to trigger an attack for example um i don't know a pinterest tag or some some other tag that you want to configure inside your inside your container and now let's go to the variables uh it's a large number of variables most of them are here to detect our uh, parameters i'm talking about these parameters right here you can see them inside pixel your site uh global parameters these parameters so all this data that we attach to events as parameters is detected by this variable except this one uh where is it this one ga4 id this is um, the variable used by the google uh, analytics tags we have inside the container so if you want to enable uh, google analytics you need to change this value and add the actual um, google analytics id right here so this it's a special variable related to google analytics uh, we also have five custom variables and five well there are 10 variables detecting detecting um, parameters or custom events let me show you what i mean so when you configure a custom event or gtm you can add custom parameters like this and one variable will detect the name and another variable will detect the value we support up to five such values if you need more you need to configure them but uh, it makes easy to detect a data that is configured for uh, custom events sent to gtm um, if you select uh, an e-commerce event instead of custom we detect uh, parameters that are specific to e-commerce and we send them in a different object and you don't have to configure uh, variables for them so that's uh, detected automatically but for custom values we have up to 10 supported uh, with this um, import export file export import file and version number one as i mentioned previously comes with um, google analytics support we have the base tag installing the base uh, google analytics um, tag and then we have tags for advanced marketing events meaning events i show you um, for woocommerce uh, automatic events automatic events as i said these events uh, right here all these events that we fire for various sections um, custom events events to manually configure inside the plugin and this tag for uh, e-commerce events so they use the trigger that i explain and you can see how they are configured uh, for example e-commerce events oh i must show you something uh, user provided data we have variables detecting user provided data because the plugin um, like we do for meta for example uh, or for our native ga4 integration we detect user data from various sources from uh, from uh, wordpress accounts if the user is logged in from woocommerce if it's a woocommerce uh, client and from forms if they submit a form so we detect this data we encode this data and we send it um, with the data layer and we have variables detecting the data and then we have this uh there right here you can see user email first name so on and the tags are configured to use such data so this task this tag for example 
will detect automatically e-commerce uh, data from the data layer. We have it and user provided data if it's possible to have it. And of course, uh, we also add um, our automatic uh, events parameters. So the variables I show you detecting all sorts of data. So uh, that's what's inside our container. The one you can configure using our um, import export file. Let me know which tag would you like to see next, because the plan is to add many, many more tags, not just Google Analytics. So we will use uh, these triggers to fire more tags. We will use these variables to send data to those tags. Um, maybe we need to change the trigger somehow or the data somehow, or maybe the, adjust the data layer uh, for other tags. I don't know. The, the thing is we will do it in the future and we will have um, many more tags. So let me know which one would you like to see next in our uh, import export file. Christian Stoichesco from Pixel Your Site. Subscribe to our channel and uh, like this video. Uh, what else? Uh, like, share. Oh yeah, share this video. And um, thank you for watching.